Nigerian Army's 6th Division, in collaboration with other security agencies, has dismantled 37 illegal refineries and seized over 230,000 litres of stolen crude oil in the Niger Delta region. The joint operation also led to the interception of 12 boats, 9 vehicles and motorcycles used for transporting the stolen product with 8 suspects arrested. Acting Deputy Director of Army Public Relations, Lieutenant Colonel Danjuma Jona Danjuma, in a statement, said the troops followed multiple attempts to steal crude from pipelines. One illegal refining site was destroyed at Agbesa, a Kukutoru local government area of River State, where 9,000 litres of stolen automotive gas oil were recovered. A large wooden boat carrying over 120,000 litres of stolen crude was also intercepted. Additional operations at Imo Riverside, Element Local Government Area, River State, Delta State, Aquipum State also saw the troops make great recoveries. Meanwhile, General Officer Commanding 6th Division Major General Jamal Abdul Salam also praised the troops for their efforts and urged continued collaboration with the public to provide information on illegal activities. He emphasized the importance of maintaining security to ensure uninterrupted exploration activities in the region. Federal government is Federal government is preparing to strengthen its fight against terrorism and other criminal elements by acquiring 34 fighter jets. Well, the team by the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar, is currently in Italy finalizing the procurement of these aircraft. The new acquisition will include 24 M346 fighter ground attack jets and 10 AW109 Tika helicopters. According to a statement from the spokesperson from the Nigerian Air Force, Air Commodore Ulusoya, the first three units of the 24M346 jets will be delivered by early next year, with the final batch arriving in mid-2026. The Tekka helicopters are expected to be fully delivered by early 2026. During a review meeting in Italy with defense contractor Leonardo SBA, the chief of air staff inspected the first batch of the six M346 jets and discussed key support systems that will boost NAF's readiness. He also proposed the creation of a program management office to oversee the project and called for establishment of a maintenance hub in Nigeria for the M346 fleets. Meanwhile, Defence Minister of State Dr. Bello Matawale reiterated the government's commitment to enhancing the operational capacity of NAF during a visit to the NAF 119 Composites Group in Sokoto.